Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn and this is the Razer Core X. This is an eGPU which is a housing for an external desktop graphics card which allows you to dock it with Thunderbolt compatible Razer gaming laptops in order to get better gaming performance for your machine. The Razer Core X is priced at around £250 and is capable of housing a number of GPUs. Now I have connected this up to the Razer Blade Stealth 13, one of the newest, smallest, most portable gaming laptops from Razer for testing purposes. And it is an interesting device that is capable of housing a number of different GPUs and um, I have discovered that it even works with RTX. It's not officially supported with the RTX NVIDIA graphics cards at this point in time, but I'm pleased to report that with a bit of faffing it did work with the RTX 2060. Now the reason for purchasing one of these Core X E GPUs is quite simple. Basically it allows you to use an ultrabook or small compact gaming laptop for standard reasons. So the Razer Blade Stealth is a integrated graphics powered machine which basically means it runs an MX150 integrated graphics processing unit which means it doesn't have the same processing power as your standard gaming laptop and certainly not as a desktop GPU machine powered machine but it can benefit from a multitude of hours of use so it will go and go and go and it doesn't have to worry about powering a graphics card so you get more more time out of it before you need to recharge it so that's a bonus then when you get home if you're using that out the, on the office or on the train or out and about wherever you are when you can get home you want to plug you have a good gaming session you can plug it into this eGPU into the graphics card that you've got installed in that and then basically you can get the benefits of enhanced performance you can switch over to the external graphics card and get a lot more power obviously the RTX 2060 is a lot more powerful than an integrated graphics card so that means that you can dock with that and you either improve the performance of the laptop itself so you then capable of running games on ultra settings or high settings or very high settings on the laptop itself or you can dock that laptop to the eGPU and then plug into an external monitor so for example I used it to connect the Razer Blade Stealth to my 1440p 34 inch monitor and then play games on ultra settings like that. This is quite an expensive way of doing things because as I said the eGPU is around £250 then you need to find a graphics card to put in it so you're looking at several hundred pounds more and then you need the Ultrabook as well. Now the Razer Blade Stealth starts at around £1,300 and then goes upwards so you're already looking at at least a grand and a half just for the Stealth and the eGPU without a graphics card. However what that does mean is that you can get the benefits of a full gaming laptop without the expense and without having something that's really chunky and heavy. So if you want something that's really portable and easy to use and then want to be able to get home and have a full on ultra beautiful gaming experience PC Master Race style and this is an option. The eGPU is essentially a small little case that houses a graphics card and a power supply unit and I'll leave links in the description so you can see the specifications of that and what GPUs it can handle. As I said I managed to get the RTX 2060 running in it and you can see it has some good PCI power connections on it, quite easy to connect which I'll show you in a second. There are a number of bits of software to download. You obviously need the latest NVIDIA graphics drivers. You also need the GPU switching software from Razer. And I would rec recommend installing the latest BIOS updates for the relevant machine if you're going to do this. So this process, I'm talking about the benefits of doing this, but also how to do it. And I'll show you what I did and I'll add this links in the description to how to do it as well to make life a bit easier for you if you've done it because I did find a number of problems where I just couldn't get it to connect. Connecting via the Thunderbolt to the Razer Blade Stealth which is the 2019 version by the way of the 13 inch gaming laptop and I had issues with it where it just didn't recognize it was installed, it didn't recognize it but it had the drivers on and so I had to do the BIOS updates and obviously make sure they're the latest video drivers and then I had problems where the even though it had the drivers installed 
it wouldn't recognize, it still wouldn't recognize the GPU and it was running maximum power. And then I contacted Razer and they told me, oh, the RTX 2060 isn't technically supported. But then uh, with a few more installs and a bit more hard work, it managed to get it working. And with it installed, it obviously means that you can benefit from that full power. As I said, like the Razer Blade Stealth is an ultrabook. The MX150 is not really comparable to the full dedicated graphics processing units. So you can run, you know, things like Apex Legends and casual games on low to medium settings without much hassle. But if you want to run Battlefield 5 or Metro Exodus or something that's a bit more taxing, especially some of those RTX ray tracing in it, then obviously you need a bit more power. Having this external graphics card support makes that a lot easier. It meant that I could run Metro Exodus on the ultra settings with ray tracing turned on on both the gaming laptop and on my monitor separately without any problems. There's a lip. When you're doing the installation process, it's worth bottom. noting there's a lip at the bottom here, <laughs> at the bottom of the dock, which I had initial problems with, that it then slides in. So you have to lift it up slightly before, so it's worth checking it out. And then there's the handle, which folds in to lock it in place. It's a pretty easy install, actually. Installing the graphics card itself is really easy. If you've ever done that in a machine, you'll know how to do it anyway. But it's basically removing the back plate with a thumb screw, plugging it in, plugging in the power, connecting the power lead, and then connect it to the machine via the Thunderbolt cable. The final product also looks pretty swish because you get to see the graphics card through this little window in the side. It is a solid little bit of kit and it is quite small as well. It takes up not very much room at all. So if you haven't got much room for gaming, you've only got a small desk or you've only got a small area that's perfect. So here you can see the Razer Blade Stealth 13 sitting next to the eGPU dock and you'll notice they're both quite titchy, which is excellent. When you first plug it in and turn it on, you do get a lot of noise. So my tips would be when you first plug it in, you'll get a little pop-up that says a Thunderbolt device has been connected. It's important that you open that window and go into your Thunderbolt settings and make sure you select uh, that it's always allowed to use a Thunderbolt connection. And then the laptop will recognize the dock more easily and that makes life a lot more easy. Uh, as I said, you need to also download the latest drivers and you'll find those in the link in the description. Download them for your relevant gaming machine and install those. That includes the GPU switcher to enable you to switch between the G two GPUs. Also, another point of note, which is pretty cool, is that because it's done via Thunderbolt, when you connect the laptop to the eGPU, you actually get power from the eGPU to the laptop, so it will charge it while it's doing that as well, which is really handy. And once it's all set up and you have the GPU switcher running, it doesn't run this loud either. That is just an initial setup. This is a brilliant little bit of kit though, I recommend checking it out. This has been the Provoke Prawn, hope you found this video useful, please like, subscribe and come back for more in future. Also be sure to check out my channel because in the near future I will be doing a review and unboxing of the Razor Blade Stealth 13. This is the 2019 version as I said, I have had a few problems with it which I'll talk about in that review and they'll be worth knowing if you're considering purchasing it. The eGPU though is excellent and it works really well and it's fantastic at delivering desktop results in a compact form factor which is excellent if you haven't got much space. Also be sure to check out the links in the description and the tips that I'll add in there in the text in case you have problems with the setup of this device. Thanks for watching.